everybody. It's Claire Paris with the Paris Group Realty LLC in Portland, Oregon. And today we're talking taxes. Tax time, so much fun. Um, because you might own property, um, your taxes get a little bit more complicated, but there are three documents that you need to effectively do your taxes. And if 2020 meant buying, selling, um, or just owning, you're gonna need these three documents. So if you're a past client of mine, I sent you your one of those documents to make it easier on you. Um, but if you need that document, you can either look in your files or um, reach out to the title company that helped you close those transactions. So this is called a final settlement, settlement statement. This is mine for our um, house. You can see it looks it looks just like this. It's going to have information um, from the title company. See how it's com title company? Your name, the address. Now the reason why you can tell it's a final statement is it's got somebody's signature at the bottom. <laughs> um, the reason why this is useful is because it's going to have, you, I don't know if you can see this, but it's going to have the lender's fees, the title fees, and any points that you paid. Those are all gonna be possibly tax deductible. So you'll wanna use this document to do your taxes. If you're doing TurboTax, you want three documents. I'm gonna show you the next two. Um, or you're gonna wanna provide these documents to your CPA or your accountant for them to, to maximize your tax deductions. The second thing is your tax statement. You'll notice it's yellow. Typically anyone that has a mortgage is going to get a yellow statement, meaning it's being paid by your lender. Um, this statement's going to show what you paid in property taxes and those property taxes may be tax deductible. And then the last thing is your lender, if you have a lender on your properties, are going to be sending you what's called a 1098. I'm just double checking. I think that's what it's called. It's a 1098. Um, it's going to be coming from your lender and it's going to list out the year that you paid the interest on the property and if you paid mortgage insurance. Um, in both of those cases, it might be tax deductible. And that's what this, see how that looks? It's got my name on it, it's got the year on it, and how much I paid in um, interest. Those three documents should help you maximize your tax deduction, and they should also help your accountant square everything up. So whether you bought last year, whether you sold last year, you're still gonna have a settlement statement. And if you just owned last year, you're gonna get a 1098, and you're also gonna get your property tax bill. So all three of those things are useful for your taxes this year. Of course, if you have any questions, if you've decided that you're not doing TurboTax this year and you want an accountant, I'm happy to provide you with names and contact information. Um, I don't do my taxes anymore because it's too hard. <laughs> um, but of course, reach out because I'm happy to help. Um, and if you are a client of mine and you lost the paperwork I sent you, just reach out because I have all of that and I can get it for you to make this process a little bit easier. Um, as always, I appreciate you being here with me. Um, if you want to check out any additional content, we've got it over at the Paris Group Realty YouTube channel, so feel free to check that out. And please comment below, because I would love it if you have some questions you'd like me to address in the future. I would be happy to do that. I hope you all have a great week. Take care.